up YouTube? It's your girl Miss Shayna J and I am back with another video. Today I will be doing like a skincare routine. This is just what I do about three times a week um, to help with my face. Right now it's the summertime. I got a bit of a sunburn around my mouth and like on the edges of my face. So I do this about three times a week just so I can help clear up all of that and keep my skin looking really nice and glowy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, all of the good above, positive energy over here, and let's just jump into the video. So first things first, I'm going to cleanse my face with my Tula. I absolutely love the Tula. I've had this for about, mm, about a month, and this is the probiotics and superfood. I got this from Sephora. Um, when I run out, of course, I'm just going to get another one, but I have found this to be absolutely amazing on my face. And this is the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. And it's clean and effective. And it literally stands by what it says, probiotic and superfood. And it always has my skin feeling and looking so amazing when I'm done. So let's get into it. <laughs> Now, I would recommend you investing in a microfiber towel um, to dry your face with. I don't recommend you using a washcloth because um, it holds like bacteria and stuff. I got a whole pack of microfiber towels from Marshalls and they were actually on clearance and it's a 10 pack and I got them for like $5. So I would definitely recommend using a microfiber towel. Okay, so once my face is clean, cleansed, it feels great and everything else. Next I'm going in with my Teamy Tea Detox Mask. I swear by this, I love the Teamy Tea Detox Mask. It has done wonders for my face. I've been using this for about a month now. I actually got this in a boxy charm, and I love it. I do do boxy charm every month. I never know what I'm gonna get, but I'm very very pleased with the products that I have been receiving. So next time I'm going in with this, and this is like a good statement. Like I literally use this three times a week. So as you can see, I put like a big dent in it so far. I literally go in, like they say, go in with a clean face, but you're to dampen your face slightly. So take a little water, rub it all over my face, just like so. Cause you don't want it to be too wet, but your face should not be dry when you put this on. And I do like a light layer. I don't do a heavy layer. And I don't have like a mask. Um, Brush or anything. I literally just go in with my fingers. Apply it. Please avoid your eyes with this. The stuff is strong, like very strong. Because what it's doing is it's going to bring out all of toxins and gunk and everything that's in your face and like i said you just need like a thin layer i do put this on my nose because i do have oily skin so it definitely does help 
pulled out all of the impurities. like around my nose where it's drying it's pulling out all the impurities that's in my face and whatnot now i'm just gonna go ahead and just rinse this off I had gotten a smaller version of it from Target and then once I ran out of my small version I said oh no I need the bigger version and I actually ordered this on Amazon because my local Target was sold out and I believe you can get it from Walmart as well but Amazon it literally came in like two days it actually came the next day and when I tell you this stuff is amazing so just take the top off and then of course it comes like with this little thing to help keep it preserved which is fine like a lot of times i'll just use the stuff that's on top on the top first and it's like a white like marshmallowy consistency and you don't have to wet your face to put this one on you can just go ahead straight on and put it on this is what it looks like inside and you get a good amount which i really like um the one suggestion i will give is that i do um, all of my face regimen things in the refrigerator so it's amazing it feels so good going on your face and i would recommend keeping like my detox mask and everything like that i literally keep it all in the refrigerator because i feel like it works better it feels good going on my skin and it helps keep it preserved um i mean of course if you don't want to do that you don't have to but i would suggest you do that especially since cool products definitely sinks into your skin faster and it sinks in a lot better i have no idea why but that's why a lot of girls ice their face or use ice rollers i also keep my roller for my face in my refrigerator as well i have a like skin skincare drawer in my refrigerator that i keep it in so you all will see that in a little bit I'm a problem, being rich is not my fault You decide, who you think you should decide, who did I 
Now for this, it says keep on for 10 to 15 minutes. Me, on the other hand, I keep it on for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I think the longest I've ever kept it on was for about 30 minutes. It does not burn, it will not hurt you or anything like that. Just to keep it on a little bit longer. I just really love for the ingredients to seep down into my skin because I feel like it does help a lot. So I would definitely suggest trying that but I'll probably keep this on for about 30 minutes today since I've already done that before. And you're supposed to use this two to three times a week. I literally use this three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, we'll be back in 30 minutes, guys. stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V. Call me, fly you out to Full speed. All right, you guys, so I'm back. Um, I went to the refrigerator and got my Precision Beauty Skincare Solutions Anti-Aging Rose and Collagen Gel Face Mask. It hydrates the skin to a farm line and reduce wrinkles. And this is what it looks like. I've been using this for about... This bottle has lasted me almost three months. And I actually got this from TJ Maxx. And I got it for a Two dollars because it was on sale. Obviously, it's worth all. But you're supposed to use it two to three times a week for the best results. Cleanse your face and neck. Apply a generous layer of gel to the face and neck. Massage mask into skin in a gentle circular motion. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it off with warm water. Now, my key to this is. After I do all of my um, kind of the detox mask and then my marshmallow mask, I'm gonna rinse this off. I'm actually gonna put this on, but I leave this on for about 30 minutes. My skin feels so amazing once I rinse it off. So let's go ahead, rinse this off, and then go ahead and put this on. going away this part of my face is actually my skin color and then this dark spot down here is the sunburn so it's actually starting to go away but I'm gonna go to Sephora and get that super goop um, SPF and put that on my face because I don't ever want this to happen to my face again when I have on makeup I actually have to use a little bit more just down here where the sunburn is so don't be like me <laughs> and not use SPF. And it, I think it happened when I went to Ocean City. Um, and then I came back and was going to the pool. So I just popped the top on it. And again, this came out the refrigerator. minutes that's fine but if you're used to doing it for a long time and I've been doing this for about three months now that's why I do it for 30 minutes so I will be back in 30 minutes with my next step <laughs> all right so I'm back I am about to rinse off the gel mask that I have on my face and then I'm going to be using this precision beauty skincare solutions face mask with tea tree infused with help Deep, infused to help deep, deep clean pores and help prevent blemishes and pimples. 
I love this. It hydrates and renews delicate skin, skin nourishing extracts, and it's no water needed, and it is a sheet mask. And then I just go with my roller on my face, so you're going to see how I do it. And now I'm getting ready to put my sheet mask on. So what I normally do is I just open it like that. It's like very saturated, which I really like, because it just needs itself a lot of products and stuff. Again, I do keep my face mask in the refrigerator as well. So then I just open it up, and I try to see which side the nose peel thing is on. That's the way I know which way to put it, because that's part supposed to be facing out, so you can of course put it over your nose. So then I just unroll the mask. Like Let the mask 
So once it's dry, I will be back. Okay. Alright, so now that the mask is pretty dry, I just peel it off. And I rub the remainder into my skin. Because you don't have to rinse it all and just leave it on. That's done. I'm gonna go in with my Glow Oasis Milk Food pH Balance and Moisture Milk Toner. I got this in a boxy charm, and I love this stuff. So I usually just take it on a cotton bowl. Get it all on the and then I just use it on my skin like so, even over my eyes, it's okay. Doesn't like burn or anything, you know? Let me make sure I get that all over. I go in with my Burst Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution or Acid Complex Plus Fair Berry Extract. And I have a small one because I've never used Burst products before and I didn't know if I was gonna break out or anything so I didn't wanna get a big one and then I break out. And I actually got this from Target. So I just put this all on here. And you can do this in the morning or at night doesn't matter. And again, I just swipe that on my skin. Okay. Okay. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Nature Love Firming Face Serum. It tones and improves appearance of five line, fine lines. It has rose oil and retinol in it. And I got this from TJ Matt. I've been using this for quite a while. I like it. I usually just do two clumps in my hand. I love anything that deals with like anti-aging and stuff. It's really good for me, to be honest. My skin feels very hydrated, very smooth. Like I don't have any like breakouts, like pimples and stuff like that. The most that I'm battling right now is again the sunburns that I'm dealing with, which is my fault. Other than that, I do not get breakouts at all. Um, if it wasn't for the sunburn, my face would be completely clear, I would say. But again, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. Next thing I'm gonna do is go in with my Dr. Brand eye cream, and it's for wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness. And I love this stuff. Again, another boxy charm. Um, I'm actually gonna record a video of what I got in my boxy charm this month, and I'm gonna put that up tomorrow. This video is gonna actually go up today, and I use it. Taking on two fingers. My ring finger. Above, above. Okay, massage that in. Really good. Okay. And last but not least, I'm going in with my bonds. Clearant B3 Dark Spot Correcting Cream. And this is what I use as a moisturizer 
on my face and I use it every time. I wash my face, cleanse my face, it doesn't matter. Like, I literally use this as my moisturizer. I'm saying about that much. Rub it in between my fingers. hydrated and just everything and then last but not least I do use bio oil on my face because it helps with scars stretch marks uneven skin tone aging and hydration skin porcelain oil and applique like everything like it has everything in it and I literally just use like a little dot because again it's oil but I'm gonna be in the house so if I look a little oily, it's okay. But I'm using this, like I use it regularly anyway, but I'm definitely putting this on to help with my sunburn. Cause <laughs> But like I said, if it wasn't for the sunburn, my skin is very like clear, healthy, everything. I'm just trying to get rid of the sunburn at this point. And once I do that, my, my skin is still, will look amazing. It feels amazing. But like I said, I have no breakouts whatsoever. Oh my goodness. So. With that being said, that is the end of my skincare routine. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Follow me on Instagram as well. And I hope you all have a pleasant rest of the day. I know I will. My skin feels amazing. looks amazing. And we're going to get this sunburn together, sis. But other than that, I love my skincare routine. I will link everything down below of what I use and whatnot, where you can probably get it from. Um, some of the products, like I said, I got from TJ Maxx. So I am not sure if they still have those products there. But I'm pretty sure you can find something similar to what I've been using. So again, you guys, thank you for watching my channel and watching this video. I hope it had a lot of good product knowledge and you know, just detail for you, for you ladies, or even gentlemen who would like to have a better looking skin. So enjoy the rest of your day, loves.